Hi everybody, hope you've been doing fine. So I've been missing off action for a while. Honestly, there's been lots of action in real life. And I hope, I hope all of you have been keeping safe and healthy. So during the pandemic, I've tried to focus all my energies on positivity and true source of happiness. So of course, I picked up the phone, called my family, spoke to friends, spent some time in gardening. And when I've been discovering all the sources of happiness, I realized that something that gives me true happiness has been my pets. So I want to talk about my pets in this video. So talking about pets, I have grown up with doggies and uh, they're called John, Nancy, uh, Tiny, Romeo, Baloo, and each one of them has been a true joy. In fact, when I'm talking of them, I have a smile on my face already. So when I think of John, he was one of the special dogs who loved to go with me on a cycle. He used to do namaste. In fact, he used to sit with me for hours and listen to me and was real buddy to me. And Nancy was more of a petite, uh, beautiful, very small. In fact, she was the smallest dog we ever had. And she adored my sister and my mom. She was so possessive about them that if an outsider walked in, she was like a tigress on frog. She was ready to attack anybody. I think throughout my school and childhood, I spent good time with John and Nancy. And eventually we lost John. And his place was filled in with, by Tiny. So as the name sounds, Tiny was small. She looked like a deer, galloped like a horse and we were amazed looking at her antics all the time. She was running with bulls, she was jumping around, and she was such a joy. In fact, she had an IQ of a human. I still remember she was so expressive and she could convey anything to us. She was loved by my mom and she did reciprocate a lot of love to all of us as well. So I spent like an amazing childhood with John, Nancy, Tiny, and by now I was an engineer and eventually we lost Nancy and then my parents got me a beautiful buddy or a friend uh, his name was Romeo he was very charming he came down from Missouri uh, and he lived up to his name in fact uh, I think he was gifted to me and he became my buddy from day one he greeted me by a special gesture and made noise I told him to speak and he used to really speak to me uh, I hope I, I, I would have some recording, but he really did speak to me and he lived with me for, for a long time. His enthusiasm in meeting me never faded even a bit. In fact, 14 years zipped by and still the enthusiasm was always the same. He was excited to meet me. He used to always speak and I used to ask him to speak uh, just like human beings. And uh, eventually, Romeo uh, gas his last breath in my lap. I was in Delhi to meet him and he died in my lap. And that is the time I decided and I thought I would never, never, ever keep another dog. And as if God heard me, and I didn't keep a dog after, but, but a cat adopted me. So, so as they say that you might keep a dog, but a cat adopts her master or his master. So I eventually got a cat and I called her Katrina. Now there was a lot of difference I discovered between a dog and a cat where I will feel, I felt that you know dogs are like the most more pampers, spoiled kids who really need a lot of attention and nurturing. A cat is more, or I would say Katrina, my cat, is more of like a sophisticated lady who can literally look after herself she knows what she's doing she knows she can be alone she doesn't need that kind of an attention uh, there is no uh, drooling jumping or the excitement that was shown by a dog but the affection is rather shown by purring and rubbing and it's also beautiful in fact i was amazed to see how they clear clean their litter so she's uh, she knows her toilet she knows her litter box and she knows how to cover her crap after she's done with the dirty job. So, 
So Katrina uh, changed my whole perspective towards cat, gave me a lot of happiness. And then I got uh, another one, Rico. He also adopted me, and he is uh, quite a flamboyant, uh, vagabond kind of a cat. He is quite macho, and he likes to bully people or other cats around. And he has his own personality as well. So when we lost Romeo, he definitely left the void. And the latest entrant in the family is Balu, who doesn't leave an iota of second to bring a smile on my parents' face. In fact, all of us. And my niece Sara, she simply adores him. So what I realized that each one of them, I think this video can be a tribute to all my pets because uh, they have given me so much love and affection and each one of them had a different expression, they had a different personality, they have different characteristics and how they express themselves. But each one of them was different. And trust me, if the negativity of the world is catching on you, if there is too much pessimism, I would love and I would encourage you that you should go and get a pet today. Trust me, you get a pet, treat them like family, the love and affection you shower on them they would reciprocate thousand times more to you and that's what is true happiness thank you for following my happy lens i promise you i'll be more punctual in posting new videos from now on have a great week Yeah, boy. Catch it. Bolo. Bolo de jumu. Jumu in the. Ay, ay, ay.